presence right now. Let me also welcome in Arun Thakkar, MD and CEO at Access Securities. Uh, Arun, another good day for the markets and we're seeing banks participating in a big way. Let me specifically ask you about uh, PSU banks. Any favorites for you over here? You've also seen SBI go ahead and cut deposit uh, rates uh, for the second time in, a month, in two months. Do you expect other banks to now also follow suit? So uh, I agree with you that's a great day for the market because uh, uh, in the morning we uh, in the newspaper everybody read that uh, ranking has improved and you are in top 100 and World Bank also acknowledges you now ease of doing business and the bank recapitalization also few days back happened and that day also PSU bank rallied quite a lot. And today, uh, if you look at some results, let's say uh, uh, Syndicate Bank has given a great result and uh, GNP has come down and all. But uh, as, a, as a broking house, we are uh, obviously uh, more bullish on the private banks uh, uh, still because, uh, because of their retail centric approach, because of their technology adoption and because of their various other factors. So uh, there will be... Uh, there is already some rally in PSU Bank and obviously they are much better placed than they were before because of free capitalization they will be able to uh, dispose of some NPA, they will be ready to take a larger haircut. So that way yes, uh, uh, as PSU banks will definitely there will be some more upside. But as a broking house, we are more uh, bullish on the private sector banks. Right. Uh, Arun, uh, give me a couple of minutes because uh, Tech Mahindra earnings uh, have just come in. Profit at 840 crores. We were expecting a number of 718 crores. So this is much better than what the street was estimating. In fact, we were expecting a downtick of 9% because a comparable figure is at 791 crores. It's actually uh, an uptick of about 6 to 7% on the bottom line front. So that is a good performance from them. There, were, there was going to be some uh, favorable cross currency movement that was going to impact tech mahindra but this seems to be better than expected let's see uh, let's uh, get more details and possibly find out if there is in fact a one off uh, here as well but it seems to be a very good performance even on the revenue front uh, we are expecting a figure of about 7556 crores but uh, the uh, the number uh, is uh, going to be slightly better that's what uh, we are picking up so good performance uh, at least uh, on uh, the first cut of uh, tech mahindra we'll try and get you a little more details on this on the margin front, you're seeing and uh, you're expecting a margin expansion of about 1%. Uh, operationally, it's uh, a good quarter for them, expected to be a good quarter for them. Uh, operationally, you're seeing a bit increase of about 14%. There are going to be revenue drivers for this quarter, so let's not forget that. The HCI integration is going to help them. LCC revenues are seen flat, but possibly that's something that's worked in their favor as well. And as I said, cross-currency movement is also expected to be favorable. There's also moderate growth expected in a communications business due to the ramp down in account and a pickup in the enterprise business and uh, productivity improvement is also largely going to offset wage hikes this is what we are expecting so first cut at least on the bottom line front it is a smart beat we were expecting a figure of about 719 crores this has uh, gone ahead and come in at 840 crores right now and you're seeing that reaction play out on the stock as well spiking to the highs of the day two percent two and a half percent up right now on the revenue front seven thousand eight hundred and six crores that's the number we were expecting seven thousand five hundred crores so again uh, a partial beat as far as uh, the top line of uh, tech mahindra is concerned in terms of the dollar revenue growth uh, figure, let me just uh, try and find out uh, uh, the number that's uh, come in uh, right now in a percentage uh, basis. But again, it seems to be a good quarter for uh, Tech Mahindra. There were going to be a couple of drivers for them and possibly they've uh, performed better than the street uh, was estimating. So that's uh, something that's worked out well. There is an other income component uh, over here as well. So let's not uh, forget that. Uh, we were expecting in fact a dip in pack because of a lower other income so let me try and pull up the other income number for you in q1 there was a one-time exceptional gain from sale of land which is missing in this quarter key factors uh, that we will be watching out for and we'll get in uh, shell in just a bit to give us those numbers uh, the performance of the telecom segment of course the largest chunk of their revenue comes from that uh, and also the top customer performance, of course, uh, the LCC integration and the HCI integration and how that's working and the deal wins, especially in their enterprise segments. So that's what we're watching out for. On the dollar revenue front, you were expecting a figure of about 3%. It's slightly uh, better than that. So that's uh, something else that's worked uh, in favor of Tech Mahindra right now. Cooling off from the highs of the day at the moment. Ashish, as we wait more details, just a chart check on Tech Mahindra. Anything exciting about this stock? 
So, um, nothing great, but uh, definitely the good part is that, you know, in last two months, we have seen good amount of, you know, recovery in the stock from almost 400 odd levels to 490. So, I think uh, that, that that will work for uh, at least, you know, in, in, a, in a medium to long term for creating a good base, this was required. But uh, in a very short span of time, I think uh, uh, the action is already done and if, uh, if it sustains above 500 uh, on closing basis, then only a further up move will be seen. But I, I, I think overall, uh, whatever move... Uh, had, has, has to happen has already been seen. Most of the move that had to happen on this counter has already been uh, seen. Uh, do we have Shell with us? We'll uh, just uh, try and uh, get him. Uh, Arun, uh, would you care to comment on these numbers or the performance of the IT space? So, IT space, if we look at uh, the recent numbers, maybe the TCS was uh, in line and uh, Infosys. Uh, uh, there was a uh, guidance cut, so that was slightly negative for the stocks. But overall, IT space, uh, if we look at that, if you presume that US growth will come back or it's coming back, so obviously the IT spends will increase. So I think as far as uh, that part is concerned, that will take care that uh, maybe at some point of time there will be value emerging in IT space. But as a broking house, again, we are uh, right now neutral on uh, IT as well as pharma. Neutral on IT as well as uh, Pharma, we have uh, Shell uh, with us, uh, uh, alright, uh, we'll just uh, try and uh, get uh, Shell to give us uh, more details on this, uh, let me just uh, run you through a couple of numbers, uh, operationally uh, it seems to be a good quarter, the margins have come in at 14.5%, so Shell, uh, first cut at least seems to be a beat as far as expectations on a Tech Mahindra were concerned. That's right, so dollar revenue 1179, our estimate was 1171, definitely higher than what we were anticipating, uh, revenues in rupee terms 7600 crore we were looking at 7556 uh, a beat of almost 45 crore uh, profit was expected at 800 718 crore profit numbers uh, actually coming at 836 definitely a beat of over 100 crore so all these three parameters is done well uh, i'll run you through a few more details that i have head counted at, at uh, 117225 uh, software head counted 75500 and uh, cash uh, on books currently at 5961 crore the Active client uh, count stood at 885. So added uh, 21 active clients uh, as compared to last quarter. That's a very big number. We have to just see what is the size of numbers. I'm just going to get to that. Uh, margins uh, this time around are coming at 11% versus 9.4%. So that's also another uh, good number. We were anticipating. Okay, we were anticipating a. Uh, a 10.4% margin, so it's gone and beaten our margin by 60 basis points. All of these uh, numbers are above what we had anticipated, so it's definitely looking like a good quarter. Let me run you through a few more uh, numbers. Uh, attrition, uh, attrition for the quarter again um, is has come in at 16% versus 17% in the last quarter. So this is the Q2 of the current uh, year and it's gone down. Uh, utilization 81% versus 77% on a quarter and quarter basis. And, uh, the, uh, and if you look at the geographical breakup, uh, the revenues coming in from America is coming at 45.3% versus 46.8%. So that's come down slightly, uh, but the Revenues coming from Europe have increased by 20 basis points. They are at 30% right now. This is a percentage of the total revenue share. Uh, and the rest of the world uh, revenues are coming at 24.7 versus 23.4. Uh, so these are the major numbers. Uh, uh, and as I said, the active client count has come to 885 from 864. Uh, so that's a 21 uh, client addition. Just let me quickly run you through the bigger clients if they've added. Uh, the $50 million plus clients stood at uh, 14. There's no change in that. And uh, there is a big change in the 10 million plus client category. They've come in at 81 versus 74. That's an increase of seven clients over there. And more client addition the $5 million plus and the $1 million plus client. So uh, it's very clear that um, the, the 1 million, 5 million and $10 million uh, clients have clearly increased. And there's not any major change in the 20 million and 50 million plus clients. Uh, so these are the major numbers deep, at least I have at the moment. Uh, the top five clients contributed to 24.8% of the total revenues versus 25.9. So that's come down by almost 100 basis points.
All right, Shell. Uh, so good performance there, but uh, you are seeing some profit booking happening on that counter down to about just a half half percent uh, gain at the moment. But that's uh, Tech Mahindra for you. The numbers uh, look to be much better than what the street was estimating, and that's why you did see an uh, initial uh, thumbs up coming in from there. But a whole host of uh, other stocks uh, that are on the move. Uh, Ashish uh, Dredging Corp is up 20 percent. This after the government decided to uh, sell some stake over here. We don't have the full details of that. Shipping Corporation of India up 11 percent. MMTC up 11 percent. But two stocks uh, that uh, you've been tracking and uh, there's been a lot of news on this this week. The IDFC twins, good gains coming in for both of them right now. IDFC Bank, in fact, 10% gain at the moment. What do you feel over here? Yeah, so I think post this news, we have seen a very strong, you know, buying interest in both of these names, uh, IDFC as well as IDFC Bank. And looking into the, you know, the kind of volume as well as the kind of open interest addition which we have observed, I think there is a very strong possibility the stocks might give another 7 to 8% upside from current less however you know it's very very you know event sensitive so maybe the ideal way to play this move would be right buying a call option rather than uh, buying a vanilla uh, futures or you might ha have a position in a cash segment so ideally buying a 65 call option in idfc makes sense i think uh, keep that for next uh, five to seven days i think stock has a potential to cross 70 to 73 levels on upside 70 to 73 levels it can cross on the upside so another 10 uh, 12 percent uh, rally is possible on this uh, counter Arun, uh, fresh record highs uh, in the markets uh, right now. We've spoken about uh, financials, but really, if uh, a client was to come to you right now and uh, possibly ask you how best should I deploy my money or what should the portfolio strategy be, what would you advise? Because most of the sectors are beginning to look overheated. Even something like telecom is uh, beginning to rally in a big way. So really, if you're looking to deploy funds, if you're looking to find value in this markets, what do you do? So we basically get two kind of client. One is our retail investors. So what we are advising a retail investor that they should invest whenever they have money. They should not time the market. And maybe an HNI uh, uh, is a person who sometimes uh, has that uh, liberty to buy at a time even when the market is going down. So there may be there may be fresh triggers. So if if there are if you look at some uh, risks there, if suppose. Uh, uh, so there is a geopolitical risk, there may be some jitters in the market or maybe uh, when, when President Trump travels through Asia or maybe when the US Fed increases the rate or something, the trimming of balance sheet happens. So there will be some fresh triggers when the markets may correct a little bit. So that time we tell these HNIs to put more money. But if you look at medium to long term, we are obviously very bullish on the stock markets because if you look at for the last 3-4 years, so what has happened is that starting from Jandan account uh, when, when the financial inclusion happened and after that the demonetization happened when the physical assets money moved to the financial asset, that's financialization and then the GS and after that uh, the, the banking and PA problem getting solved and bank recapitalization happened and immediately after this now today if you look at that uh, news of uh, 30 points jump and you are in top 100 and even some reforms are still not uh, uh, taken into consideration because of the cutoff date so hopefully we should get into the, the, the top 50 number in, in a year or two so if if the going is so good so we are that way we are very bullish from medium to long term and in India anyway uh, now the DIs are putting money and if you look at this year from July onwards when the G DI numbers are around 7 billion and after that they have put another 7 billion so that 14 billion has come through mutual fund route and whatever FIs have sold DIs have or mutual fund investors have picked up so I think that is a great year for us because is in on this independence day actually we got independence from FII flows so even if they are selling the Indians were buying so Indian retail investor is very lucky now because they are now participating and we now meet people they come and ask us that when they should put more money in the market they are not worried about uh, market uh, uh, correcting they actually happy when when the market corrects and they come and ask us whether they should put more money yeah. All right, uh, so that's uh, the market strategy. Arun, we'll leave you on that note. Thanks so much for joining in uh, today and uh, sharing your view on the markets uh, with us. Uh, Dhyaneshwar, before we let you go uh, today, uh, let's get a couple of more ideas fr from you. You had an MGL on your list.